Good afternoon. Boxes. Yeah, there's a ton of boxes. I can't even get inside the house. This thing I always wanted in a speaker. What is? The S400 Mark IIs. Oh I'm yeah, actually, those came in. I'm actually very curious on how they sound because so far people like them. And, you know, yeah. Stop chewing gum. It's not gum, it's actually a, a high chew. It's like an Asian little candy. I got it with my boba for free. Really good customer service. It's mango flavored. Yeah, I'll be recording Boxing. this anyways. Huh? I'll just be recording anyways because... Recording what? I don't know, you damaging speakers. I'm not damaging speakers. Candidly. Candidly. It's part of your lifestyle. What are you talking about? What's that blade for, huh? What are you What are you trying to cut? What's that? The f that f that scamming bitch. Why my channel? There's so many other channels. I didn't even say what's up, but that you're oh, clearly you triggered. Say? No, you're triggered. Bullshit. What a piece of shit. Anyways, I think I swear that's a downfall. Of my channel is that f scamming. F it's okay. Every 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 channel got that except I don't even know for why some reason this. our viewers <coughs> got hit first. What yeah. is the Synchrony B600? Doug <laughs> taped it upside down, but I think okay. it's the right way. Like he packaged it this way, so it's okay. Can't even open the box with this monopod. Are and these like entry the... level speakers or what? Dude, I don't know. He just said you're reviewing these and he dropped them off. I'm just like, okay, I guess. Like, I haven't, I don't even know what they are. Like, I think they're the new PSPs, but okay. I haven't been. Really See, Jay in Montreal would just say, say la vie. No, like, I, honestly, like, PSPs, like, I remember, like, I don't have a history with PSP, that's the thing, like. The I've always seen them when I, when I started it as an audiophile. Yeah. I would see them all the time, because I looked at the used market. Yeah. And PSP was something that you'd find in, like, every single neighborhood in uh -huh. Canada, like, in the GTA, there'd be uh -huh. so many PSP speakers out there, but I never actually went out of my way to buy them. Well, I, I never bought it with my own money, and, um, like, PSP, the only time I actually saw it was in a karaoke. And then like are you serious yeah i'm serious like down not downtown sorry north york mm -hmm. karaoke and did, did it sound good no <laughs> my voice did not sound good okay so it gave an accurate representation yeah no, i remember because i saw the uh psp speaker and i was interested in what speaker they were using so i took up the grills and said psp so i remember about psp okay but anyways he did, apparently they're a good company so they they um aren't they canadian Are they they're canadian, canadian. yeah um they're canadian and uh actually they make a lot of good measuring speakers i mean all canadian companies man like it's yeah, my what? gripe about korean uh, korean canadian korean. <laughs> canadian companies is yeah. like they all follow that you know dr floyd tool which is not a bad thing they have like a set standard mm -hmm. which is not a bad thing but then again like they all walk that safe zone of that well measuring speaker sound so yeah and then we have the klh is back yeah so the klh is back <clears throat> Fucking finally yeah so like um what what ended up happening with these is actually a funny story is like i want to measure these right because like everyone's talking about like all the reviewers like zero fidelity mm -hmm. like andrew robinson they're all talking about like how like it's not a reference sound it's colored it's fun sound you know kind of like that clips jbl kind mm -hmm. of you know category and i'm like yeah yeah but I, I i heard it and i was like yeah this is definitely colored it's not like neutral reference you know not nhts not you know those kind of speakers so yeah like, yeah I want to get these measures so I can find out why these sound so darn good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they, the guys at the measurement lab, you know, um, over NRC, at NRC, right? yeah, yeah, NRC, where they have like an inner chamber, it's like an actual lab, but it's not like my place. It's okay. Like big foam sticking out. Okay. And they were like, they, these measure fucking fantastically. Like, fantastically. Oh. They measure flat. And I'm thinking to myself, wait, what? And they're like, it's neutral. I'm just like, it measures neutral they're like yeah i'm just like how does that make how sense? does that make sense these sound nothing like the nht or any of the other speakers that measure like flattish you know like the reference sound so i was like baffled and then the person that took it doug mm -hmm. he didn't return it to me for like months why is that you know what he says that um he just doesn't have space in his you know crv uh -huh. But I, 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 I call it bullshit. <laughs> he's probably listening to them. <laughs> he's probably loved it. I, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. 
And I think one of the reasons actually they measured kind of like this like off topic, mm -hmm. the measure like flat is because they didn't ask them, did, did, did you guys put the stand on? Mm -hmm. And they're like, no. So you so they measured it like straight on, like a normal speaker, right? Okay. Like, and I remember when I was using using those, which is a stand that doesn't tilt. What were these from? These, these were Worth the Wintons. Okay. Right. Yeah, so the similar Wintons. speakers. Okay. But I was using those stands because mm -hmm. I was thinking, okay, so the K okay, backing up the KLH stand you see there. Mm -hmm. It's like if you see the picture here, it's like it's a little bit angled. It's like angled. That's why I asked them, did you guys like measure it straight on? And they're like, yes. Um, and I said, well, that's probably why because when I used those Worthdale stands, mm -hmm. it sounded because those Worthdale stands are not tilted, right? It's like yeah. straight on. Yeah, they're regular. It stands. sounded different. Like I had like maybe five minutes before the guy came to pick it up okay. to try that setup, but it definitely sounded different. Like from using those stands. So the so, positioning plays a big role. I think it's positioning, obviously, right? Yeah. But I think that's why it sounds colored, but okay. then it measures flat. Does that matter though? I don't give a fuck. And then finally, I mean, the speaker that got me the most excited mm -hmm. are the S400 Mark IIs. These are like speakers that are such a throwback. Cause remember when we reviewed the- Is there, is there a light here? There isn't a light here. How about now? Uh, it's a little bit better. Okay, so finally the speaker that gets me really excited, the Bukhar S400 Mark IIs. This is a throwback, like this puts a smile on my face because we reviewed the S400s like almost like a year ago? Yeah, it was a year ago. And, and good memories, bad memories. I'm, I, I was not excited for this speaker. I am I am a bit because I like the tuning of the S400. It was like a new kind of speaker for me, Yeah. tuning wise. And then I look, you know, okay, so I did some research, right, on yeah. the S400 Mark II, and yeah. I saw the crossover, and I was like, holy <clears throat> crap, that's an upgrade. Okay, so, okay, yeah, that makes sense if you did the research. Yeah. But you may have first noticed it, like, when the crossover thing came out and the whole marketing thing came out, mm -hmm. but, like, I knew it way before that, that okay. the Mark II is coming out, mm -hmm. and I was like, why? Like, what are they going to possibly do on the Mark II that, that's going to be so much better than the Mark I? Because the Mark I was already, like... Yeah, it was already good. Like, yeah. And, you know, like, I, I just didn't get it. I'm like, yeah, you're going to be, like, that typical company that does Mark II and then Mark III and then Mark IV and Mark V, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was like, eh, you know, I don't really care what they do. But, um, no, but then... And I, in fact, I said, don't just continue the, uh, don't discontinue the original S400 because it's mm -hmm. a great speaker. It's a classic now. Yeah. And then they're like, well, we used a better woofer. We used a better cabinet design. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah. But then they're like, and we put in high end parts into our crossover. I look at the crossover. Literally the crossover in this mm -hmm. is higher end parts mm -hmm. than like... 90% of the high-end market even more than the most electama tours I have Okay, that's messed up. I'm not joking. That's a little you know what I saw was really beefy and You know what it's it reminded not the beefy me of part like the, the part. Yeah, the, the, you know the capacitor I forgot the freaking name of the capacitors brand, but mm -hmm. that's how rare it is for okay. companies to use it because uh -huh. each of those capacitors are freaking expensive man Yeah, like they explicitly told me mm -hmm. we're spending a lot of money mm -hmm. on the crossover it's an expensive crossover. What it reminded me of was remember the CSS, mm -hmm. like those uh, DIY bookshelves, yeah. and where you got like the crossover yeah, 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 upgrade. Yeah. I was like, that's that's beefy. Like, that's, this is this is next level. This is next level. This is next level. Okay, let's unbox these because I'm I'm. Hold on, before before we get too excited. Okay. I want to also say, what I'm really excited about that like, these are exciting. Yeah, and okay. I'm I'm dying to hear them. But they told me that I don't know if this I'm, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this but we're just gonna bleep they're probably it out. not gonna watch this because it's gonna be like long ass vlog okay. hopefully but the special the special edition mm -hmm. they're gonna have a special edition like remember how, how the S400 had a special edition yeah. they're going to have a special edition of this except it's gonna have even higher end crossover components but why how? I don't fucking know how does but, that even make sense is it even gonna sound better like oh, I don't know but like it like Technically, maybe a little bit, mm -hmm. but like I'm talking about for those that want like top quality because I know like some of my patrons are like dude like even if it sounds the same mm -hmm. Right, like some people want higher-end crossover parts. Okay, right? Like, 
like better tolerance, you know, mm-hmm. and you know, so like I'm I'm personally stoked about that, and it's not like it's gonna be ten thousand dollars because it's book card. Yeah, it's generally somewhat affordable. Yeah, like Sonos Fiber, like they have the Clarity Audio. Now, Clarity Audio, I was like, you know, in the Sonos Fiber, mm-hmm. I was like, yes, yes. Now it looks like a fucking joke to me. <laughs> this makes it look like a joke. Okay, we're gonna start unboxing these speakers that came in. Let's let's get started. I mean, starting with the PSBs. PSB Synchrony, Synchrony B600. I'm assuming it's a bookshelf. It says B for bookshelf and the size. There's already like a catastrophe avoided. Listen, it's a tight space I have to work around, you know? Uh-huh. I'm curious to see how these look. Damage rate is 0%. Yeah, but everything's insured, right? Mm. By the companies. Yes. Better be. Okay. It's, it's, in our, it's in our description. When you send it to us, it's like... Uh-huh. Jay is not liable for anything. I'm not liable for shit. You know, okay. I have Tujin around. Jesus. What is that supposed <laughs> to mean? <laughs> you know, this will be easier with two people, but since you're holding the damn camera... The hardest ah! job. Yeah, show those are not show- Hey, it has grills. Wow. Manual. Who needs manuals? Why do you even need manuals for speakers? I don't know, Jay. Alrighty. I'm gonna bring it over to the listening room here. Because I want the carpet, you know? Oh yeah. Speaker unboxing 101. How to unbox the speaker. Step one, make space for the speaker. Amazing fusion. Yep, yeah. Oh, it's gloss. Oh, wow. Piano gloss. I hate piano gloss. I love shit. piano gloss. It's Until so someone scratchy. touches it. Like, scratchy. Oh, that's sexy. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I know what these are. What are these? I think Steve Guttenberg reviewed these, like the floor yeah. standards. Yeah. He did? Oh. Yeah. These are interesting. Oh, wait. These are actually f***ing sexy. These are not entry level at all. How much are these? I'm, I'm thinking roughly like... Oh, it has iso acoustic. Four to five K at least. It has iso acoustic built in. Yeah, they partnered up with them. I remember oh, reading shit. up on these. It's my favorite, like, hi-fi tweak. Oh, there you go. So, initial impressions? I haven't even heard them. I mean, just, just soft looks, build. Oh, in terms of build? I like it. It's like, it's fancy without being like over the top. Like, I like the silver accents. I love, I love the design. Me too. It kind of reminds me of the Elax, in a sense, with all the silver accents. But you're going to need a very specific stance for these, because eh? it's... Okay. Water basic. You want to use the. You want to have the ice acoustics, uh, feet on like on a stand. Mm-hmm. So. Ah, there we go. Beautiful Some lighting. lighting. Beautiful lighting. There you go. You look good again, Jay. Ah, into the dungeon you go. Beautiful. You don't, you don't want to go down there. I go down there, and it's, it's only not goes pretty. down there. Next it's not one. Pretty. Uh, that's one I bought with my money. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Jesus. Oh, that's just the okay. box. Okay. Thank fuck it. See, sometimes <laughs> it make loud noises. It's just like with the box. Oh my god. <sighs> it's it's these. So the backstory behind this was, hey Jay, we need to start reviewing some, you know. More affordable gear. We have to beat cheap audio, man. Yeah, we gotta we gotta beat cheap. <laughs> no, you know what? The thing that annoys me is that there's this speaker, right? And everyone hypes it. They're like, this for like two hundred dollars is insanely good. Okay. And I went to a Best Buy and I saw it and it looked like. Okay, but but let's let's okay let's S the model is S S C S five. Typical Sony naming scheme right there. Yeah. Anyways, continue on your story. Okay, so I saw this speaker at Best Buy and it was it was cheap. Like you know when you when you go to those garage speakers or like the speakers that you get with like those radios? Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. So like construction wise, I wasn't buying it, especially at the price. So that only made me want to re- like 
get him in and hear him because even like Zero Fidelity said they were good speakers. My boy Sean. Yeah, your boy Sean. My boy Sean. I called him up actually. I was like, yo, we got, I bought this because Tujin said it was shit and I want to test it out because y'all all been hyping it. Yeah. Y'all been hyping it. Because there's, there's a lot of options at 200 bucks. No, there is. Yeah. But I think like he said to me what he said was at the time they were running a promotion for like seventy nine dollars. Okay. And they were like, for, he's like for seventy nine dollars. I don't know what the hell's wrong with your brown boy, but. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm I'm hearing people hype it at like I see the price point and it's like two hundred dollars plus in Canada. I'm, it's like I'm hella like exposing him. Okay. Anyways. But it's because he, he loves us. He's a lovely yeah. guy. I love him. Who? Sean. Moment of truth. I want to see your raw reaction on this. Okay, I've been saving it. I, I bought it and then it came out my door. It looks better online, like in the pictures, than it does in real life. I'll say that. Here, I, I will be brutally honest with the build quality, at least in this video, and then sound quality later. And I know some people sell upgrades for it too. GR Research? Yeah. You can say the name. Yeah, GR Research. <laughs> And like the upgrades cost more than the speaker, so I'm like <laughs> very skeptical. <laughs> Buy the four hundred dollar crossover for the two hundred dollar. Yeah. You know what? It's fine. That, ah, it's just because I don't agree with it, or you don't agree with it, doesn't mean it's wrong. Wow, wise words from Jay. Ah, 2021 Jay hashtag quotes. Yes. Yagi, not yeah, Miyagi. Jay's... I'm looking at the PSBs right now. It looks so sexy. I know. How much are those? Those look. No, expensive. those are easily five to six. Those days. look expensive. I already hate. Anything it. with ISO acoustics, you can assume. Wow. This is like a. What's wrong, Jay? <laughs> it's okay. Hold on. Maybe, maybe it's <laughs> it's been a while since you've handled something <laughs> <laughs> like this. Just a black box. Do the honors of taking the grill off. It's not magnetic. Okay. I mean, okay. Okay. Come on, let's price go. point. Yes. Isn't the fluence magnetic? I think it is. Oh my god! Is that a super tweeter? Oh my god! Okay, I understand. This is like cheap, but like. Okay, who cares about the grills, right? Like, yeah, this no. I mean, who uses grills with like, their speakers? Who looks who look at the back of the grills? Only J, right? Yes, like, only, only. It's a. not a big deal. Like, okay. So it's a three-way design. Okay, super tweeter. I can already tell that's a tweeter, and that's the mid-range woofer. Looks okay. I mean. Do you like knock on it? You shake it? No. Okay. There's a port on the back. Okay, you made it sound like terrible. Like, it's okay. not. Uh, you know what? The, uh, probably the pair that I saw at Best Buy was a little beat up. Okay. Because yeah. you know when you like well, ding well, a corner. Thing with, thing with like cheap speakers, right? Like, the finish the is. The build important. quality, yeah. the finish is scra like, scratchy. Why am I keep saying. I Malaysia. I can't see. It says Malaysia. The drivers are Mal made in Malaysia. Mm hmm. Wow, Jay's doing like a deep dive. Mm hmm. Okay, well, I guess the, the real question is six ohms. Does it sound good? Maximum input power 100 watts. You want to you wanna test that? <laughs> Stop saying that. Why the fuck do manufacturers keep saying that? Honestly, Fluon's build quality is much better. Yeah, I mean, like there are better options. Prices, like, okay, the build quality, honestly, is very underwhelming. Mm -hmm. It's like, I would say, I put this in like, maybe under under hundred dollars. Like, yeah, I've seen speakers that cost way less than this have better build quality. Okay. But then these have been out, out for like a long time, right? Yeah, so, I mean, okay, it is from like a huge, like here, huge company. Compare the build quality to the rest of the. Obviously, okay, but the, these are like. Yeah, no, obviously the rest are more expensive. But mm -hmm. I'm saying, like, Fluence, for example, has comparable build quality to the $1,000 ones. Okay. Dude, I'm actually excited about hearing these. Uh -huh. They look like shit, though. Like, the fuck? The nearest... This is brand new. 
Oh yeah, it's, it's coming off. Shit. It's coming off at this corner glue right now. Glue and shit, like. Ah, okay. But you think the super it's tweeter okay. is gonna make a difference? It's okay. What? The super tweeter. Like, what? The super tweeter, the one, one like. Yeah, the right the, there. That, that's the super tweeter. Do I think it's gonna make a difference? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've seen really good super tweeters, uh-huh. and I've seen some terrible ones. You know, I'm, it's it's really uncommon seeing it in. Like a budget, budget speaker. Um, yeah. Like actually, name actually, name any other speaker that has under a thousand dollars that does a super tweeter. Vintage speakers all the time. Yeah. Super tweeters. Okay. JBL pioneers and Tui like. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You're right. You're right. But I mean, look, you know, super tweeters. It, uh, no comment. No comment. Okay. No comment. Okay, so let's start with the stands because that's the easy part. Mm -hmm. You've already opened up these speakers before. Yeah, I did an unboxing. Yeah. We're cheating here a little bit. But they, 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 they packaged it back so nicely to me, you know, that So I it's must. worth recording it. I must. Wow, look at that foam. I like it when you get foam like this when you unbox like any kind of hi-fi product like the whole popcorn foam like the cheap oh. foam that like like it's terrible i mean tecton uses it oh, Put, i hate re the sound repackaging a tecton speaker or something sound. else sound uh, yeah it's, it's like, like chalkboard yeah okay anyways this is the stand um yes it, it this, looks this, this, this is a piece of metal it's a piece of metal okay and has like a uh, felt padding here Okay, so it doesn't so scratch it doesn't the scratch. bottom. Yeah, it's just a, it's a well thought out design. So we'll put that mm -hmm. here. <clears throat> okay. PSVs. Ooh, PSVs look cool. Yeah. On the back. I'm sorry, Jay. Ah, that looks really nice. You're having too much fun. Am I? Am I, Jay? You come in here and you're like. What's this? What's this? Ooh, this came in. Ooh, this yeah, because it's like every week I come in, there's something new. Yeah, and if there week... isn't something new, I'm worried. I mean, like, <laughs> are we going bankrupt? Is this it? Is this the end We're of the already day? Already going bankrupt. Our views are down. <laughs> okay, true say. Oh, dude. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say I have to clean these stuff up every day. Mm -hmm. just... Yeah. You know, this this is organized, Jay. Like, this is I am organized. after he tidied up the place. Yeah, this is actually, like, me thinking, you know, uh, this is presentable enough. Mm -hmm. I am no longer in my shack. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, I remember coming here a year ago, and it's just boxes everywhere. Like, it's like a labyrinth. Like, it's like playing a video game. I still game. live here. I'm right here. Like, do you see these, like, <laughs> Ikea Kallaxes mounted on the wall? Yeah. That, you know, the tools oh, actually organized. Oh, oh, I'm really proud of that. I did all that myself. Yeah, all he did. Painting, everything. Yeah. Even this, putting it up. Yeah. I did it by myself. I was holding it up with one hand, yeah. balancing it. Mad, mad. A lot of, a lot of Korean swearing. <laughs> oh, she, uh, I can't whoa, get. whoa, 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 whoa. Demonetized. Unless you... To our Korean audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we have one. I know, I said, oh. <laughs> okay. So how to unbox a mid-sized floor standing speaker? In a twenty-five by twenty-five area. Twenty-five Se by seven years. Okay, there Not you me. go. So you want to flip it over for big size speakers mm -hmm. and pick the box out like this. This is how you do it in the, the industry too, right? When you worked uh at the hi fi retail I mean, high, 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 high end retail store. Yes. Where I was a manager. Yeah. People mistook you for the owner, though. I know. According to the a Google of, reviews. A lot of Google reviews is like, the owner's very nice. His name is Jay. I'm like, nope. He's very young, though. Yep. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. I wish. Ah! It is very heavy, so this is gonna. Look... I love the finish. Okay. Yeah. Isn't it blue at the front? Blue? Like the baffle. Baffle? Yeah, when you take the grills off. I love I love this handle by the way. Oh it's not it's blue. Such but a smart yeah. smart design. Is it magnetic? 
Uh, no, well, yes, it is mag magnetic. Oh wow! It is magnetic, and I love this. Like, cause sometimes with these speakers that have like a dip groove. Did you just say dip? Di dip. <laughs> dip. Okay. Okay. D I P. Okay. 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 You're sick minded. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Uh, with with the ones that has this, like mm -hmm. it's really hard to get your fingers in there. Like yeah, I experienced it with like the LS three five A's. Okay. LS three five A's. You have to dig in your finger. For Why? a second, I thought these were the Tecton Troubadours. 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 Yeah. Troubadours. Because I think you got both of them at the same time. I the did. KLH I and did. The Very different. Very yeah. different. Yeah. These are like clearly better. Like there's oh. no. There's no like yeah. No filter today. No filter. Any, every day. Every day. <laughs> this is a three-way speaker. Mm -hmm. Acoustic suspension design, which is seal design. Yeah. Has a low, mid, high. Adjustments? Adjustments, yeah. Okay. You're pooped. I am pooped. Um, okay, and then this one goes. On the stand. On the stand! Like so. Uh, like, I'm holding the camera here and I'm already sweating. Uh, it's uh. It's a lot of stuff in here too, electronics, I guess. Yeah, a lot of lighting that generates lighting, heat. Lighting, electronics. Dude, my electricity bill last month was like... Way too high. Yeah. Hey, all right, so we'll open up the card. As... Are, you just, are you just gonna open one of these speakers? Yeah, just to show. And then we'll open up the rest off camera because who wants to see old Jay dying? Okay. You can film. You can film me afterwards mm -hmm. of how dead I am. Okay, sounds good. Here we are. Moment of truth. Two cards. I don't know how I feel about white though. I asked for white. It's like you could you could do white really nice. Yeah. Or it's like a hit or miss for me. Yeah. Should I ask for black? Black's always like the safe color for me. That was the box. Yeah, that was the box, not your pants. That was <laughs> nice manual. Just one page. You know what? That's awesome. Uh -huh. Return. Bacard Audio offers 45 day trial period on the product. You have drivers on that side. Yeah, just just poke into the tweeter and <laughs> use it as leverage. <laughs> I've had that happen to me. I remember selling a speaker to a dude. He pulls out the speaker from the box and inspect it stabs the woofer okay. and pulls it out Ugh. and he's like yeah that's the port right and i'm like no <laughs> that is not the port that is that is a tragedy okay the white is actually like nice it's a nice matte white and has the woofer in the back i love the the binding post the so binding post por port post the post is i think like wbt kind of or style, at least. I don't even know this what WBT call. is. <laughs> of course you don't know what WBT is. Anyways, let's bring it over there. Okay. Yeah. On top here. Oh my god. Is there even feet on that speaker? No, but it's okay. Wow, it's, it's like around. a trapezoid. Um, or is it a parallelogram? Same thing, right? Slightly slanted. Mm -hmm. Feel like it's a little bit deeper. Yep, it's actually upside down now, right? Mm, was no. it always this orientation with the woofer on top and the tweeter on the bottom? Yeah. Oh my god, it's been too long. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> that, was, that was the whole thing. Like, was that? Was yeah, that? the passive radiator in the back, like that. Remember? They and changed then... the radiator, right? The radiator? Yeah, on the back. You mean this? Yeah. Like what the, this? they, they use new drivers. This. Yes. This. Yes. Is a new driver. Okay. Everything else is the same? The cabinet's different, the yeah. crossover, but this, the, the, the 5,000 something points of measurements. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the same. Okay. Are the screws? Oh, you know what confused me? Same. Yeah. It's the A500. They're actives. The radiator on the back yeah. was like a circle. Yeah. It's curved. The corners are curved. So they like beveled it a little? Yeah, that's, that's a really good design. See, all these are beveled. Like, all these are beveled. Mm -hmm. 
except for piece of shit. Okay. 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 Come on. Surprise. Be nice. Right? It's price. Yes. It can sound great. For a true audiophile, you know, it's the sound that matters, right? Who cares about the looks? Nobody cares about the looks. Hey, don't forget, we have other stuff to unbox too. Ja, not just speakers? No, well, yeah. That's SMSL, dude. Yeah, we'll unbox these. It's gonna be a total mess after this. Okay, go back here a little bit. I'm gonna unbox these right on top of the PSD box. Okay. So, so what is this supposedly? Uh, this is the SA400 which is designed and manufactured by SMSL in China. OMG. This is a class D amplifier mm -hmm. that I was requested by Tujin to review. Did so, I? yes, like... <laughs> Sometimes I see stuff on the web and I'm like, hey, this looks cool, and then I forget about what it is. Okay. So like, I don't know if this is a DAC or an amp. It's an amp. Okay. So, well, it's an integrated amplifier. Oh, it's a chunky amp. So it, well, that's not that chunky. It's like, I mean, compared to what SMSL normally gives? Light. Okay. You know, you can tell how heavy things are by the struggle on my face. This is okay. It's okay. Like, but I mean, it's heavy considering it's an SMSL. OMG, it has a fan. Is it Noctua? It's definitely not Noctua. Oh, that is not... If, you're, if your place is dusty like my place, that's not going to be good. Anyways... Okay. It's SMS cell. It's supposed to be like an expensive, like 200 water class D, right? Okay. Oh, is that a subwoofer out I see? Let me see. Let me see the back of IO. Uh, close gaps, cheap binding posts. Oh yeah. They don't like that. Mm -hmm. Sub has a sub out, which is okay. good. XLR, RCA. I'm assuming these are inputs. So, you know, what trips me out is that they don't have a built-in DAC in these, but then they put Bluetooth. Yeah. Our daily dose of chi-fi. Chi <laughs> that should be like a, <laughs> its own um, video series. I believe the next one is uh, made in America. Wu Audio. But is Wu Audio made in America? I, no. It's an American company. Is it? But it is run by... Is he Chinese? Jack yes. Wu? Yes. I, I mean, Jack Wu. You know what? I love Wu Audio. Okay. Been a fan for a long time. Yeah. Back Just, during the headphone days. Yeah. But um, this is their new headphone amplifier. Oh, it's the uh, This one Wah is the 7. classic, classic. It's yeah. what made them famous in my humble opinion. Okay. Uh, this is actually one of my very, very first two headphone amplifiers. So this is the Wah 7. Mark III. Firefly. Yeah, this is the Mark III. So according to Jack, who is the guy that runs audio mm -hmm. he's not discontinuing the was wall seven mark, mark two, two but this is like a whole another thing so this is like mark three but it's not like a it's like a choice okay and this is for like a certain type of people that want something different i have to read it mm -hmm. <laughs> i Oh, is that a double box, I see? Yeah, yeah, oh, it's actually a smart design. It forces you to open it the other way. Like okay. That. I think you're a owned a... Uh... I owned it, like everyone owned it. Yeah. Like, no, I didn't. It. I was never a tube Oh, dude. you didn't. It's the one tube amp that I is wouldn't this, mind owning. Is this serious? Ooh, sh Ooh. That's just... A wooden enclosure for tubes? A wooden enclosure? You Just don't see, even get that with the high end you, tubes. Are you serious? Oh my god. Yeah, you have to smell it, right? It's, it's um, plywood. Oh, it's not. It's not tubes. Oh, what is it? It's um, adapter. What is that? XLR to... Uh, oh yeah, this doesn't that? come with it. This I, I requested it because I have um, XLR. Oh, and this yeah. one only accepts 4.4. Uh, .4. Oh, it's heavy. It's like, it's like a crystal. It's like when you open like a really expensive matcha mug. Really? Is that, is that your analogy? Yeah, I have a... Uh, you want... Oh. It's the lighting shit in there. It's, it's not. See, I want to open this up nicely because it's not mine. I have to send it so back. So, how many tubes? Uh, two. Two? Well, okay, okay. So, it's like the Come same. Come on, man. I mean, I thought it was like a huge redesign. 
Oh, it's like a glass. That's really beautiful. Oh, look at it from the side. You see? Yeah. The side. No, that's that's gorgeous. I'm getting scratch marks. I, my girlfriend always goes like, "Where'd you get that scratch mark?" And I was like, "I don't, I don't know." <laughs> just just part of the job. Part of the job. Okay, so it's really it's, it's really tightly packed. It's really nicely neatly tightly packed. Okay, so I want to open this up nicely as possible because I don't want to. It's not mine. Yeah, definitely rip it. I'm trying not to, but the way it's taped, it's it forces you to kind of. I I managed to do least amount of damage. It, it's it's a very nice neat. And oh, you can change the vault. That is fucking beautiful. Every company should do that. Isn't that normal? <laughs> so I mean, with <laughs> regular electronics, open, you have to open up stuff like sometimes to oh. get to the. And then where are the tubes? It's inside here. Okay. It's, again, like really nice packaging. Like, it's well thought out packaging. It's not excessive. It's not over the over top. The top yeah. Without no. And uh, with, I, I, this this is a beautiful packaging. This is like a company that knows how to package your stuff to be safe. Uh, I'm assuming it's an NOS tube, NOS, Neo stock. Okay. Because uh, it's it's, a, it's made in the USA, but you can see the writing is kind of fading away. Let's see here. Actually, there you go. It's in focus. I remember they used to sell, uh, like ship it with a white glove, mm -hmm. so that you don't have to touch it with your hands. Yeah. Because not everyone has white gloves. Like. Yeah, it just sits there like that, and it glows when you plug it in. That is Honestly, audio the jewelry. highest like appro wipe approval factor, like, period. Mm -hmm. Th didn't they usually like ship with like? little pegs here so that the glass won't like wiggle around it's because it's a little bit like just a little bit you i mean here? but it is one of those things where like you set it once and you leave it yeah and it does but i mean i i because I, I remember they used to have like a little bit of a padding here so, so it doesn't slip around maybe i'm just mistaken but it's okay. just just a little bit of, just a little bit wiggly I, i'm just being you know you are but i'm just saying um it does have um Oh, it's a pretty heavy unit after you put the glass on. So we have one more, one last box to unbox. Two, with two. Two, okay. With, what are those again? This is my torture device in case Tujin misbehaves. So MoFi sent me like their turntable studio deck. Mm -hmm. I requested it because I was like, yo, like let me use your turntable mm -hmm. to test other cartridges and turntables and like kind of like my reference. Okay. Because like it's one of my favorite like turntables like I when I used to work. No, oh, when you used to work, you don't work anymore. Well, I you I work, but like, is it really work if you're having fun? Are you having fun, Jay? I am having so much fun with your existence. Because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. Life of holding a camera. This is the formal box which we'll open after. Okay. But this has been like I've been dying to hear this, but as you can see, like if you I'll just show you why. Just so like this is where my turntable was supposed to go. Okay. But because I was like comparing DAX and stuff, and these are the gigantic DAX. Mm -hmm. So like, and when I was filming it, I had this like I usually use it when it's down. It's not usually here. The dinner frips. Yeah, it's usually, usually shoved down below. there, shoved down there, and then I use it. Mm -hmm. So like it's not, so that this this is a, you know free, so I can use turntables. But mm -hmm. you know, like I wanted to show it on camera, so I had to bring it up. And now it's time for me to put it where it belongs. Their stuff is pretty well thought out. They actually make their own recordings as well, like well the, their own pressings. Mm -hmm. So they have their LPs, SACDs, which I have. Yeah, it's just fantastic. It's fantastic recordings. I absolutely love it, but um, just like you know, it's well thought out, and for the price, like it, it may look a little bit plain. That's my only complaint. Like it's not like bling bling. Mm -hmm. With turntables, you kind of want bling bling at least. It's not like a statement piece. Yeah, but like look at the cover. It's just not. It's just not just plain acrylic. It's like a little bit like Tinted. dust. 
dust, yeah, dusk. Smoky. Smoky, yes, that's the word, smoky. So this is the table. It doesn't turn yet, so it's not a turntable, it's a table. Wow. Oh my god, am I cracking jokes today? You're amazing. Um, I like the packaging overall though. Very well thought out. I think today is a day where we review packagings. Yeah, no, we're, we're assessing foam, we're assessing the boxes. Install counterweight to this point. Wow. You see that? That point right there. Mm -hmm. Are you focusing on that? I can, I can do that. That is, that is beautiful. <laughs> so counterweight is this. It's a pretty heavy weight. Hold it up to the camera, please. You hold it. So just the counterweight, it's just like, it's a weight. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, so heavy. And so you put it on, and then you want to twist, like. Oh, so it's like a screw on? It's not a screw on, but like, well, it's kind of like, it's friction you don't want to go like, eh. Okay. Because it's made so that it doesn't like slide back and forth, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. due to movement. So it's, you have to screw it on like. This, this is part of the process of setting up a turntable, grunting. Okay, anyways, this is the platter which goes on top here, like so. It's starting to look like a turntable. Yeah. So like if you feel this material, feel mm -hmm. it, feel it. Is it like a rubber or like a... Kind of. Like it, it, this is like the similar material your actual vinyl is made yeah, out of. Yeah, I was going to say that. And, okay. and there's few turntables that do that. So I love this cartridge. Do you? Yeah, this is a very nice cartridge. It's um, MM, mm -hmm. moving magnet. Honestly, the best cartridge I've heard are all moving coil, but also moving magnet, MoFi, and Ortofon is up there, in my opinion. It's one of the... Oh, so you're taking the cover off? Yep. Did you say you had like a, like a $2,000 cartridge just sitting around somewhere? Uh, no. I used to have it. I sold it. It's a $7,000. Koetsu Rosewood signature. Yikes. I, I used to have it on my zillion dollar turntable. Wow. Which was a German made turntable that I don't even remember the name of, quite frankly. Uh huh. Like shoe, shoe, shoe Analog or something. Why did I do that? <laughs> wow. Side! Yeah. Wow, that looks nice. Balancing mechanism. Oh, I can see it. So it's like anti-vibration. Yeah, and you get that with the platter as well. Mm-hmm. It's like double. Okay. Double isolation. Then let's see if I have it leveled. This is what I clean my cartridge with, by the way. Just. Mm-hmm. Onzo. This is the. Look at that. Wait up, wait up. Let me zoom on on that. It's, it's like perfectly leveled. Oh yeah, I leveled the the platform. <laughs> so yeah, it should be leveled. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's, it's leveled. Okay. Extra goodie. Oh, this is the... This is also separate. This is the um, clamp. For the platter, right? Yeah. It's pretty heavy and it just clamps down your record. Yep. Or LP. Wow. Um, this is called the Super Heavyweight Champion. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the Ultra Phono. So this is the Phono. I like it because it can do both MC and MM. Okay. And it's a pretty sleek, small design. Um, I've, I've heard really good things about it. It works with you know, many different cartridges, mm -hmm. both MC and MM. Sounds good, quiet. I heard that as a quiet phone on stage. Um, again, I haven't heard it myself. We used to use like Macintosh phone when I used to work. But I just like the look of it. Look, that's so... And you just can go mono and subsonic. Okay. Mono would be just like if you want to hear mono. Mm -hmm. Which is also really good for testing stereo setups, like yeah. mono recordings or mm -hmm. in general. And then uh, here you have the subsonic, mm -hmm. which what is, is that? Uh, basically it reduces like the crackling noises. 
Okay. Which some people like, but I don't like it because unless these, it's so unless the record has like really bad static, of mm-hmm. course. I don't really have records like that. Mm-hmm. But if you do, then you want to use this, mm-hmm. and sometimes it can help. So it's like a filter. Yeah, some some people some uh, funnels have it. Okay. But I'm not a total fan of it because it mm-hmm. takes away the musicality. Oh. Like by a lot. Okay. And this is the output level. This I love this because you can just yeah increase the output level of your funnel. It has a headphone jack. <gasps> I know. Okay. Not that you would want to use headphones when you're listening to records. You can hear all the little cracklings. Yeah. Um, and then he has like dips, dip switches. And what's that for? Uh, basically, it's, it sets. Uh, I have to look at the manual, but basically, usually these are used for setting your um, output level, depending on if you have MC or MM. Oh, okay, okay, amazing. This was a lot of work for you. I still have to line the cartridge. I'll do more settings later on. But that's just it for now. Awesome. Any last words? Guess not. <laughs>